Hello, Pisces. Getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Temperance, Eight of Cups, walking away, letting something go, healing, feeling better. Might be a Sagittarius for some of you. Something else just fell out my lap here. What is this? Oh, Knight of Cups. So it could be an offer coming in, though, now that you let something go. Someone new could be showing up. Okay, how someone is feeling, possibly. Okay, let me do that here because it's not. There we go. Spying, watching you. You know, I saw the Two of Cups go by, the Ace of Wands. I can always tell when the cards go by what the the um, energy of the reading is. So it looks positive. You guys could have someone who is showing up in your life. Maybe asking you out. Could be someone you know or somebody new, but we'll see. What is in the hidden position at this point for Pisces? I do not know. There you are. Oh, yes. Look at I'm seeing possibly an offer come in for you. Look at the Knight of Coins poking up. Might be an earth sign. Okay. Is this what's hidden? What is hidden? Sam seeing six of cups, ace of cups, two of cups. What's hidden? There we go. That's a lot. Strength is in reverse. Oh, wow. Hierophant, two of cups, the five of coins. Someone's in a relationship and they're not happy. They feel lonely. It could be that someone's in love with you. Someone may walk away from a relationship. Someone is married. This is a, this is someone deciding what to do about a marriage. It could, be, it could be juggling two people, but with the ten of cups, five of wands, so there is a person, okay, you, you're asking Pisces about someone right now who in a, who's already in another relationship, and you want to know about their relationship is what you're doing. All of this energy could be them coming towards you. Maybe you're spying on them. Someone is trying to figure out what they should do with this relationship. There's too much fighting. They're not happy. They're in this relationship, this connection. They feel lonely. This is what's in the hidden. Someone is losing strength over this. this all this energy could be someone else and not you. They could be spying on you, of course, not just you on them. Hermits under the deck, something else flipped around, which is worry. So when it flips around, again, it's something that maybe you don't see or don't know. Might be a Virgo, but somebody is... So you have a person here you're looking at or thinking about who is in an unhappy relationship who may want to come towards you, who's been thinking about you and spying on you is what I'm seeing here. Might be a Leo. This person is definitely losing strength overall, just... Tired of holding back. Hang on, let me look at this deck because I'm noticing most of them are going this way. There's some reversals. Most of them are this way. Okay. I'm seeing High Priestess in reverse with the Queen of Swords and the Two of Cups in reverse. So someone's not listening to their intuition. Yeah, it's time to walk away. Someone is giving to a relationship that's off balance. Now, again, I'm reading the cards. This could be you. This could be somebody else. They're giving something to someone who doesn't like them. They're not happy with each other. They're fighting in this... Um, relationship it's one-sided it may be toxic something flipped out five of swords so someone could be finally deciding it's time to walk away it's time to get out of my emotions see things more clearly calm down and it's I'm not happy someone's saying I'm not happy I don't want to do this anymore I'm not, I don't want to be here anymore yep it's toxic this is what's coming in on the horizon it could be a Capricorn what is this Knight of Cups energy Someone has made the decision. Two of Wands is in reverse. To me, that's about, I'm not no longer looking at each path. I'm deciding. Six of Swords. Yeah, confirming. Someone is getting out of a relationship. They're walking away. Wow. They're no longer wanting. Now, this could be a third party. There, there could be juggling. Two people are being juggled to a coins. But, um, yeah, deciding to walk away. Wow. You know what? The Strength card just fell out with something else. Oh, the Seven of Swords. Tired of sneaking around. Someone was worried about getting caught. Somebody is hoping they have the strength to get out of there and not lie anymore. Someone is, someone needs to make a decision and get a backbone or does that get, you know, get the courage up to go do something, to make a move, to make a change. They're tired of the deception or the lies. What is this page of swords? This might be a fire sign. Someone that possibly works, works a lot you work with. It doesn't have to be. It could be someone who's burying themselves in work. Someone who doesn't want to talk about the situation with other people. Kind of keeps it private. Uh, one more for the Eight of Coins. Ten of Coins. Maybe they're focused on their money. Um, you know what I'm also getting, though? I feel like there's a lawyer involved who would like to profit off of this separation or divorce. I don't know. I'm getting that. Page of Swords. I don't know. Has it... I'm getting the, like completely different messages. I don't get this King of Wands is spying, though he could be, but I almost like this King of Wands is a separate entity in this reading. Somebody who 
is hoping to make a lot of money, but off of someone else's loss. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Uh, what is in the hidden position? What is in the hidden position that you already know about? It's not really hidden now. Someone's not happy in a relationship. So if you came to this reading wondering about another person, what's the relationship like? Are they happy? Are they arguing? Do they get along? No. Uh, yes, they could be in a committed relationship, two of cups. They could be soulmates, but they feel lonely. Four of swords, the sun, and the fool. It's very clear. Your reading is just crystal clear. It's like someone who's thought about this and they're tired. I'm getting someone who maybe they fight a lot. They're unhappy. They get sick a lot. They get a lot of headaches. They waste a lot of time in life. I think they're seeing like they waste a lot of time fighting and being sick or unhappy. It's just not worth it. They want to be happy again. They want this energy here, the fool and the sun, because they've lost a lot of strength. I get this person maybe afraid, though, to tell their partner that they want things to be over with. Maybe they're afraid of what their partner might do or say. What is the strength card in reverse? Nine of Wands, Two of Cups, there's no more love left. Two of Swords, seeing that. Not listening to their intuition. I think they should have gotten out of it. There's no justice. Look at that. But maybe they're finally seeing that with Hermit here. Justice in reverse. High Priestess in reverse. This connection, there's no justice for them. They're not getting anything out of it. They're the only one putting into it. They're not happy. The love is gone. Two of Cups in reverse. But they don't want to see, for a long time, they don't want, didn't want to see that. Long time, they didn't want to acknowledge that. They just wanted to sweep it all under the rug. Yeah, look, even the Six of Wands is in reverse. That's no victory. Yeah, someone is coming to the realization that the connection they're in, it's not, it's a no win. They're not going to win and this, it's not going to work out. They're not happy. They're just wasting time. They're wasting life. Life is, life is going by. Let me see, what is this full energy? an offer. So you may hear from this person out of the blue. You weren't expecting this maybe. Maybe they'll ask you out. I get for somebody maybe they're going to ask you out for to go out for um like to dinner or out on a date or out on a holiday. I'm getting like there could be a parade for someone coming up or a like a holiday like we I'm seeing someone wrapped up in like coats like it's really cold but like riding in a carriage or riding, you know, in a boat or a gondola or something like that, like a romantic date at night that has to do with holidays. I don't know if somebody, this might be your boss. For somebody, this is your boss. You work with this person. Um, that was just like one person. I think that was all tied to one single person. Okay. Balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. And that is exactly what I'm seeing with the six of coin and unjust. I'm getting one person is just taking, taking, taking. The other person is just giving. I mean, it could be this person here. Maybe they are a lawyer, but it could be that they work a lot, have a lot of money, but the other person just spends it all. Now, of course, that could be a woman because men do it too. So um, not gender specific. One person is spending all the money. One person is making all the money. So one, somebody had their back also towards that. Like they didn't want to see that, but they, but they knew. Someone could be ignoring cheating also. Somebody could be in this relationship with the person, this person here who likes you, and they're, they know they like you, but they're again, they're ignoring it. They're ignoring, I'm not saying you're cheating. You could be, there could be a third party, but they're ignoring that just so they can stay in this relationship. It's very unhealthy. This is a very toxic, looks like it could be a codependent relationship that this person is in. Time apart. Soulmate. Yeah, there definitely needs to, you may not be talking to them right now. And they may see like the connection with you is stronger. Again, that might be also what I'm seeing here too. You could be with, um, you could be this person's, well, I believe we have many soulmates. They're already with a soulmate, but it doesn't mean it's a happy soulmate connection. But it could be that where you and this person, when you're not apart, they really miss you. The strong, the bond is stronger with you. They haven't seen you for a while, but, um, this may be a soulmate in separation reading. So let me read, let me pull a couple cards and read what they say. What this person would like to say to you. What would this person like to say to Pisces? I have not given up on you, even though it may seem like it. I kicked myself for sabotaging this relationship. My life won't be the same. Oof, yeah, that's, that's hard to live with to know someone, you know, did that. I miss you more now that we are apart. I still feel your presence, your energy around me. Wow. It wasn't you. It was me. I am to be blamed. I accept fault for this. Wow. That's, that's nice to hear. Someone taking, you know, um, ownership of something they've done or acknowledging that they've done something like that. Okay. We're going to see what this person's next action is also because I don't want to leave this kind of a cliffhanger. What, do they, what else do they want to say from this deck? Someone may have trouble with intimacy. 
They look for you everywhere. Maybe there's a page of swords, kind of like he's looking around. And I start, I'm starting to understand our connection. Yeah, they could be feeling the, the other one, the old one is very empty. Whereas now when they're with you, they feel like this connection, they feel like it's very strong. They feel very happy. What is this person's next action? Can we see their next action? They will communicate. For some reason, I was, I was expecting to see the hermit, like, and I was going to, oh, they're not going to talk, but they could be communicating soon about having a new beginning. So you may hear from this person over the holidays, over the end of the year, that they're leaving, they're happy, they're excited. They're finally taking that leap of faith, but they don't want to see possibly deception. They're going to give their ex or soon to be ex this other person if they're in a relationship with another person, which I believe this is what it's saying for most of you. It could be a toxic job or family or situation or something. Also, I'm getting a bad landlord needing to get out of a certain building or place they live. The landlord is very shady. Choosing secret offer. Okay, because I initially felt like they may give their spouse some sort of offer to get out of the relationship they're hoping they will accept it so they can move on because i get they may be someone who's very um hysterical or they could be depressed or manic depressed or something like that they're dealing with someone who may not be fully balanced or they're acting like they're not balanced they could be balanced they're just acting like they're not um but again i get this could be i feel like they're tired of the secrets around the connection the two of you have if it is a secret now, this could be secret in the workplace, too, but I'm really not getting that. I'm getting there as a third party, uh, uh, another person. Yeah. Okay, so this usually means the husband, wife, man, woman, the other party, the other person. Sometimes if it's a, not the queen of coin, it's the queen of swords or king of swords. But I'm getting they're either sneaking around. Oh, yeah, they may give them papers or something. They may divorce them. They may serve them papers. Remember I got a lawyer here? They could be having papers drawn up. And they're going to have them served because I got world and the tower together. That's like a major shock, a major ending communication. Wow. Someone may get, someone may get um, served or information from left field. They were not expecting and it may shock the shit out of them. You may be shocked too to find out this person finally did something. This could be saying I finally did something. I'm free. I quit that job. I moved. I told my my family off. I you know I gave them a piece of my mind. I'm out of there. Um I hate, I hate the partnership I'm in, whatever, if it's work or love. So, wow, someone may finally step up and take action, take ownership. You may find out about this. So I hear, I'm here. I see them talking to you. I hear communication from them. This is their next action. Let me, I'm sorry, I was drinking a little bit of soda before this, and I feel that burp right there, that little bubble in my throat. Let me see how you're going to feel. Should I use the same deck? How are you going to feel? How are you going to feel? And what's going to happen next? How are you going to feel? Okay, you may be overwhelmed, surprised, excited. But you may not know how to feel. Then what's going to happen next? There's going to be a change, a death, a transformation. Something's going to move forward and work, working on this. This may have nothing to do with you. You may be like, okay, this, this is a major change. This person has to go work more. they got to go put in the effort, the time. You might not see this person for a couple months or they may have to be like, okay, I got to get all this stuff together. I'm getting three months. They got to like, uh, okay, I got to get this done. I got to work on this. Got to fix this. I got to get my ducks in a row. Hmm. Yeah. Major change. Now there's new things that have to happen. Could be a reconciliation for both of you, but I don't think it's going to be right away. I think if they're actually getting out of one marriage to get into, an, they're not going to jump right into a new one immediately. There's a lot of stuff in between to, to, to do. Okay, let me go to your outcome or your closing the reading deck, who's usually very straight to the point. And I will pull you an advice card if this resonates for you, this reading. Okay, what is the closing advice spirit for Pisces? What is the closing advice? Tower. So someone's definitely going through a tower. Seven of wands fighting, fighting off people. Two of wands, the four of coins. Okay, interesting manifesting okay this might be some something for you who did I just do Leo kind of had the whole reading was about keeping something good news close to the chest and not sharing it I feel like if you possibly possibly I'm gonna read this different ways holding it close to the chest the four of coins 
Seven of Wands telling everybody, everyone's pissed off, everyone's coming after you, everyone's fighting. Now this is probably what this person's going through in this reading. This is probably not you. But I was hoping for some advice for you in closing. But it's kind of like letting everybody know and then everyone's pissed off and you're angry, you're defending yourself as the other path is Four of Coins. I'm not going to tell anyone. I'm going to keep it close to my chest. So the Tower Energy. So again, that might be this person doesn't want people to know. They may, I think they're going to tell you. I see them telling you with communication. But you might, um, I don't know if you would share this with anyone, Pisces. Would you share this with someone or would you just... Um, keep it secret remember the seven of swords is showing up a couple times because i'm seeing manifesting passion magician ace of wands so let me pull you an advice card i think i will use um this deck for you guys what is the advice for pisces realization number three someone has more power under the deck that they realize number 16 so that's number seven again like someone's tired of sneaking around they're tired of the secrets they're tired of holding things in this could be someone letting something out tower like having a breakdown in a sense um, but then people might come after them but maybe it's time to open up to share their feeling and just take whatever comes at them just take it but realization someone's having a realization epiphany that they are very unhappy they're not happy where they're at they're giving too much taken advantage of so I also got the number three as like three months apart, three months of hard work, three months of um, having to get ducks in a row, something like that. There could be a three month period where there's just a lot of work to be done. You may or may not hear from this person a whole lot, but all right, kind of specific, but I'm hoping this helps someone know what's going on in the background. So I'm going to leave it there. You guys have a great week.